let's put aside the complaints, the campaigns and the comedy as this overlook youth speaks from the heart. It doesn't matter if we're red, blue or green, if we don't get this right, Belize will certainly fall apart. Election day is coming up, November 4th at 6 a.m. the voting starts. Red shirt, blue shirt, green. We all have the responsibility to vote smart. But how can we vote smart when we're so biased, caught up in political gain, and pointing fingers at who is to be blamed? To me, it seems like we've missed the point. Our conversations are totally in vain. We no longer focus on positive reinforcements, and for that, we suffer in pain. But why is that so? We fail to educate ourselves and take a stand for what will work, and instead, we rely on false promises and things that are completely absurd. Our mindset has been blurred by the attractive incentives and so we no longer stand for the truth, but rather for everything else that is so deceptive. We youths have a voice and we need to be heard, but is anyone honestly attentive? Can't you see that all we're looking for is a platform to be creative and a place where people will actually listen to our perspective? So on elections day, it's not a matter of red, green or blue, but rather who is willing to take up the task to transform this country into something new. It's about a government that is united, credible and capable. It's about a government that is people focused and favorable. It's about a government whose goals are attainable. It's about a government whose ideas are sustainable. It's about a government whose mission is aligned with godly principles. Only you know who that government is. So on November 4th, let your voice be heard and then go and vote like a boss, like a boss. Like